Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everyone to today's class. This class is for the first secondary grade in English subject for the second semester and the lesson is unit 3, listening pronunciation conversation from the book Mega Goal 2. It is prepared by Abdullah Hussain and presented by me, Mazinar Harbi. So welcome everyone. Our objectives in today's lesson is we're going to have or going to read another script of uh, listening and going to do an exercise. And also we're going to have a conversation and to answer the questions of, the, of this conversation. Also we're going to learn a new vocabularies and new phrases. So this is our, our objectives in today's lesson. And now let's begin. Warm up. Okay, so the following silly instructions appear on a product uh, labels. So explain the instructions in your own words and why are they silly. So now we have uh, 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 imagine that those products that we have, okay, those products that we have, a hair dryer, a uh, bottle of milk, an iron, and uh, a dessert, okay, a dessert can. So let's imagine that, um, or let's say that those uh, products, okay, are labeled with some silly instructions, with some instructions that actually, uh, uh, let's say, a very ridiculous one, the kind of instructions that can make us wonder how even they thought of those instructions. For example, what we're going to do now is we're going to read those labels and then we're going to explain them in our own words, okay? So, the first one here we have on a hair dryer, okay? There is this uh, label that has instructions that said, do not use while sleeping. Do not use while sleeping. This is the first instruction. The uh, other one is, do not use in water. Do not use in water. And maybe most of you would think, of course we shouldn't use the air dryer in either a bath or a bed. This is obvious. This is something that you don't need to write instruction about. So this is why we call this a this instruction, we call them silly. And it should not appear on this product because they are meaningless, they are useless. Of course, no one would use a hair dryer either in, uh, in the bathroom or when he's taking a shower or in bed as well when he wants to sleep. Why would he, why would he use the hair dryer when he wants to sleep? This is very, very ridiculous. Let's see the other one. This is a bottle of milk. After opening, keep upright. After opening, keep upright. What do you mean by uh, after you open it? Okay, keep upright. It means do not uh, make it clean on uh, this side or the other side. Of course, I have to keep it upright. I have to keep it, let's say, in other words, standing so it won't spill any milk. This is uh, really a, a silly instruction and it should not be used. This is, of course, this is. Uh, any sane person would do that. You don't have to write instruction about. The second one we have, the other one, it's an iron, on a, an iron. Do not iron clothes on body. <laughs> do not iron clothes on body. It means while you're wearing your clothes, do not iron it. Who, who, would, who, would, who would iron his own clothes while he, while he uh, while he's wearing them. In that case, he would burn himself, and I believe no one would burn himself on purpose. The other one on a desert, uh, dessert can, it says, do not turn container upside down when opening. Do not turn them upside down when opening, and our comment on this instruction is, this is a, um, 
of course, no one would uh, take this or turn this container upside down because in that way, he will lose all the dessert that he wanted. All the dessert will be dropped and uh, it, uh, it will be, uh, became a waste. So this is not why, uh, the, this is not, of course, the intention of the person who bought this uh, dessert container in the first place. So all of these are very, very silly instructions that appeared on uh, different products, that appear in different product labels. So we did read them and we explained them and also we state uh, the reason on why they are so. We said uh, because uh, most of them is uh, actually trying to reverse uh, the human nature and uh, uh, yes, and so it's a part of, part of us. So all of them are obvious uh, things that we do when buying those products and we should not be or we should not have instructions uh, about. Now, uh, the next uh, conversation we have is we're going to listen to the guest complaint. And after we listen, I'm going to read, of course, after you listen, you will have to complete the chart with his problem. So there is a guest, and he has a, a complaint. What we need to do is, after we finish or we read those complaints, we're going to complete the chart with the problem. So here, as you can see, this is a chart, OK? And the title is by problems, and we listed more than one, two, three, four. OK, maybe we'll write more than four problems or more than four complaints. So let's begin. Okay, so this is the, an audio script between the clerk and a guest, okay? So I'm going to read this and you have to listen and then uh, try to keep in mind the problems that or the complaints that the, uh, the guest is making and then after this, we will move on to try to listen uh, in the uh, next uh, slide. <coughs> clerk. What can I do for you, sir? I would like to change rooms, please. And may I ask, what is wrong with your room? The shower is not working. The shower is not working. There is no hot water. Have you tried taking a bath instead? The tub needs to be fixed, too. It's leaked. I will have someone look at, at that right away, sir. I would still like to change room. If you don't mind, you see, I couldn't get any sleep last night because of my neighbor. His snoring is so loud that the walls shake. I will see what I can do, sir. I am afraid we don't have another room vacant right now. Please come back later and I may have something free. Can I help you with anything else? Can you have the towels and the sheets changed every day? They haven't been changed since I checked in three days ago. They haven't been changed since I checked in three days ago. I really must complain about the service in this place. This is a four-star hotel, isn't it? Oh, no, sir. We don't have any stars at all. Then, why do you have those four stars on your new sign outside? That's just the name of the hotel, sir. The Southern Stars, you know, it's named for the constellation that has four main stars. Funny, right? So now the, there's the man, okay, who's staying in a hotel. He thought that it's, uh, 
a, a four-star hotel, and uh, at the end he find out that it's just uh, uh, the name of the hotel. Okay, actually uh, the hotel itself is not ranked with any star. So anyway, what this kid is complaining by uh, a lot of things. He complained about uh, the tub and the bathroom and also uh, about his neighbors and about the cleaning list and the hotel. So a lot of things he complained about and this is why he wants to change that hotel. Okay, so let's see the kind of those, uh, basically the kind of complaints that uh, mentioned in this, uh, uh, in this script. Let's see and check. So the first uh, problem, okay, the shower is not working and there is no hot water. This is number one, the first complaint. And the second one is that the bathtub leaks. Okay, the bathtub is leaking. This is the second problem or complaint. The third one is the neighbor snores so loudly that the walls shake and the guests can't sleep. This is the third one, and the fourth one is that the towels and sheets are not changed every day. Okay, so those are uh, the problems or the complaints that were mentioned in the script that we just uh, read. So now we move to the other section, which is pronunciation. So now what we have to really uh, concentrate on is that the stress on the first noun in the compound noun, okay, and then we're going to practice. So now we have examples of combine, uh, combined nouns. This is noun, uh, or word that uh, has more than one noun, like uh, wind, shield, meat, render, and what we need to know is we have to know the stress in the beginning, in the first noun of those, so we can uh, actually uh, pronounce it in the right way. So the first one here is wean chill. Wean chill. The second one is meat sir. Meat render. The third one, shower cap. Shower cap. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Floorboard. Floorboard. Window pane. Window pane. So as you can see, those uh, uh, bolded uh, words or bolded letters are where the stress, uh, where the the stress is taking place. Okay, and when pronouncing those words, we should uh, concentrate on this and uh, uh, emphasize on the stress that is uh, available here. Now we're moving to the next. So here we have uh, pictures uh, and maybe some uh, close shots, and it says here returns. Returns means that uh, when you buy something from a shop and you don't want it anymore, and then you have to go to return. So they can see what can they do. Okay, so what do we see? We see this, we see return sign, we see closing, and we see a jeans that's obviously uh, torn. And where are they say Maybe in the closing shop. And what do you think the problem is? We, uh, I believe it's the problem with the jeans. It's either not clean or it's torn, actually. Okay? And uh, there is the same, I believe, as well. So let's read the conversation and see what the problem is. So the conversation between the salesperson and, of course, the customer. Let's see. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, please. If you could, I would like to return a pair of jeans that my son bought. They are white cut with basic colors. It sounds like one of Nello's creations. He designed full setting clothing, and faded clothes are in style this season. Your son didn't like them? No, it's not that. It's the fabric. It's really flimsy and uh, well, lightweight fabrics are the latest trend. You don't seem to understand. Of course, ma'am, I will try to help. 
can you give me the gene? You see, they are torn at the knees and in several other places, and the material is falling apart. I noticed it when I was putting them in the washer. Okay, so now the problem is actually that the customer, she is a mother, and she wants to return a gene that her son bought, and what the problem uh, she, uh, that scene, uh, she is having is that uh, they are torn and have faded colors, okay, and also um, the fabric is not uh, that, uh, uh, let's say, for me. So, what actually uh, the salesperson replied to her, he said, well, this is the, the uh, what's in style now. This is the fashion nowadays, which is uh, a cut, white cut, okay, and faded colors, and this is uh, how actually the fashion design, uh, uh, this is actually the, uh, uh, the fashion design uh, uh, trend in this day. Okay, so this is where the mother got confused on how actually uh, can you uh, consider this uh, a, 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 a trend or a fashion. Okay, so we actually have a, a new vocabulary, some of the vocabulary that were mentioned in the conversation. The first one is when we say faded color, it means to lose color or brightness. So the color, for example, the color blue is no longer blue. Okay, so because it is faded, okay, it's not clear anymore. And flimsy means very thin, very light, okay, not strong, okay, it can be easily uh, be loose, uh, may say. And trend, it means style. Latest trend, it means the style, what most people are wearing now. This is what, the, this is all the, uh, uh, the three vocabularies that are, uh, uh, that we face in this conversation. So now we do have the questions about this conversation that we just read. Was the salesperson helpful? And what email was the latest style? And what was the problem with the genes according to the model? Okay. So I believe the salesperson actually he was helpful. He just explained to the mother what, uh, uh, why uh, the things that she said uh, problems are not problems. And the Miller's latest style, as you can see, the loose or the white cut, the white cut the jeans. And the problem with the jeans, well, she listed, the mother said that she listed many problems, uh, uh, including uh, the cuts and stains and the faded color and the uh, flimsy fabric. Okay, let's check the answers all together. So the first one was the salesperson helpful. The salesperson wanted to be helpful, but she did didn't understand. The mother didn't understand the problem of the genes. The genes were in their latest style. It was in action. And the mother didn't understand this. The second one would be by Milo's latest style is that Milo's design loose uh, fitting clothing and loose uh, fitting clothing, uh, clothes in faded colors. And after the problem that the mother said that is that she thinks that the genes are torn and that the material is falling apart, but this is why the super things try to convince her that it's just the size. Okay? So now we reach at the end, uh, the end of our uh, lesson. We talked about, we learned in a script and a conversation as well. We learn new vocabulary and we'll try to answer some questions regarding the conversation. Here are the references that we use in today's lesson. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to watch this lesson again, please visit the root gate. And here are the means of communication if you do have any questions or inquiries. So thank you very much.